Winfield Hill away fine. It'll just be one. Given down the leg side. A little something on it. And Mooney goes. Bold. Came back. Great pace. Darcy Brown is back in a big way. Which actually is so crucial. Driven and through and four. Well played by Winfield Hill. These two English women with a bit of an early rescue job on. Really in the zone. Beaten, stumped. Her number of stumpings just continues to rise, Amanda Jade Wellington. Now 36 stumpings off her bowling in this competition. Deception at its best. At the Adelaide Oval. Boulder! Oh -ho. Danny Gibson coming into the attack. Majority of this... One thing we know. The death knell, but there's the slip that I'd like in there, Lisa. Unfortunately, not one in there, and a bit of luck for the Scorchers. And they'll be able to pick up a boundary. So after seven, it's four for 25. Erin Holland. Thank you, inbuilt barbecue. Short. I'm waiting for the invite. Okay. Down. I would definitely say Nats of a brunt. Okay. Yeah, I reckon she's an absolute gun. Well, catching the glove. Driven oh. powerfully down the ground. And no one's stopping that. You could just watch this all day long. This is such a good shot from Nats of a brunt. I'll tell you what else I liked about it, Katie, is that she... They're building a nice partnership too. Beautifully played. It's a good effort from Shoot, but she can't save the boundary. Front foot forward. Cut away into the gap. Beautiful batting. Beautiful. And that's just lovely use of the pace on the ball. We know Variation waited on it and whacked it down the ground. Beautiful shot. One bounce over the rope. Yeah, lovely batting. Stood still and watched the ball really hard. Hit away out. That's a big one. Bulvard takes the catch at backward points. And Siva Brunt's enterprising knock is over. Not timed over Wellington, though. And down to the boundary. The way she approaches things a bit. Oh, trouble here, out. That's got to be out, doesn't it? That seemed a calamitous run. There's still six overs to go. I think we've just seen exactly what she intends to do, and it's gone for six through the hands of Darcy Brown, who's so reliable, usually, in the outfield. I just wonder whether she was a little conscious. At least I say six. <laughs> well, in reality, I think we won there because we got you to say six a couple of extra times. <laughs> Six for 84. <laughs> and that is through. Edgar finds a very important boundary. It's not going to be a big total, but every run they can get will give them something to defend. Six for 89. <laughs> Sophie Devine, gone. Darcy Brown takes the catch at long on this time. A cry of anguish from Devine. The moment she struck it, she knew. So Amanda Jade Wellington. That's it. That's well placed and nicely struck by Chloe Ainsworth. Another stumping. She draws those batters out. Amanda Jade Wellington. And she comes up with her second wicket. Oh, well played. Fantastic shot. The 100 comes up. Nine balls to go. Bold shoots. Fires one through. She gets her first wicket tonight. In the air, cries of catch. 
No problem. Innings over. The Adelaide Strikers have bowled out the Perth Scorchers for just 104. Cut away through the gap. Edgar dived. Didn't stop it. And pick up two more. Yes, wonderful intent. As you said, some strange things happen. Catch it. Off the edge, just over the top. Oh, that was not far away. Matty Dark in short third. It had a lot of merits. That's nicely played. Mack down towards the fine leg boundary. The slide from King is to no avail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a challenge. That's what we have rules for. We make things mandatory, Katie. That's it. Don't give him a chance. Look how tall he is, though. From the right. book Gulliver's Travels, is it? Edged out! That's the wicket they wanted. Devine gets the breakthrough. So as one New Zealander produces all sorts of wacky stuff in the commentary <laughs> box, another one produces a wicket. Here he is for Tully and McGrath. As we just saw on cue, a classic example of the classic cover drive of McGrath. Hit away over backward points. McGrath, she wants to lock in a home final rapidly. Just enough. Club it. Hit with authority to bring up the 50. They're just about halfway there. That should be taken. Alana King holds on. The specs are working to perfection in the outfield for Alana King, and they get another breakthrough. They were the, the thoughts going through my mind. In the air, cries of catch. Couldn't quite get back Winfield Hill. No, we ain't coming. Big shout for LBW. Given. King gets the wickets. They'll review it on height. Reading the decision is out. Pitching in line. Impacting line. Wickets hitting. Go back on field to Eloise, please. <laughs> Katie Mack is out for 24. Alana King, a good outfield catch. Now a wicket. There's a little glimmer here. This might take some stopping. Ainsworth, I don't think, will get there. Off the mark with a boundary. Oh, this is a big one! A really big one for Devine! You're having some night, Katie Martin. Do you have in those decisions? Cut ill, just over the top, not for the first time tonight. Short third has been in the game, but Maddie Dark has seen it go over her head just. Yes! Oh, oh. she's on all right, Nat Siver Brunt. Three wickets for Devine. Five down, and still 37 required. She's beating the outside edge. Oh. Cut away through the gap. Lovely shot from AJ Wellington. Short, hit away, out towards square leg. A little straighter than that, actually. Out to mid-wicket. Boundary. That's a really good shot. Did nip around, and the bowlers showed great skill. That is well hit. Oh, that oh. should go all the way. Matty Penner with a big blow to draw the strikers even closer to a home final. Day game was different, guys. <laughs> This could be out. Oh no. Race back for a second. Oh. Wellington off. Oh. First slip there. <laughs> Remembering that these two leg spinners. Catch up. That's over the top of extra cover. Four there. Three needed. Absolutely. Very, re very rarely delivered. <laughs> <laughs> well struck. Down the ground. The defending champs have secured a home final.